Now, Miss Mary, why are people leaving the UK? Now, Miss Mary, what is happening? People are complaining about the UK. What is really happening? I get these questions a lot, but I'm still in UK. Am I complaining? What is happening? Anyway, good day, everyone, and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Miss Mary, popularly known as a nurse with a difference, and I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, I'm going to be answering that question, Nurse Miss Mary. Why are people leaving the UK? Why do you think people are leaving the UK? What is your advice? Is UK advisable for me to come to or not? So, if you know you've asked me this question, this video is particularly for you. You know yourself. Yes, I'm going to be answering that. But before we go into details, if you are new on our YouTube channel, kindly click on the subscribe button. Turn on the notification button so you don't miss out. For all my returning subscribers, this is me saying thank you. This is me saying thank you. This is me saying thank you. <laughs> Alright, welcome back. Like I earlier said, today I'm going to be sharing with you reasons why people are leaving the UK and also reasons why people feel they can't come to the UK. So the first one is tax. T-A-X, tax. Yes, before you get your salary, 20% is gone, especially when you earn 12, uh, above £12,500 monthly. So just be expecting that 20% of your salary is going for tax. And if your salary increases again, it will get to some certain level, 40% of your total income will go away as tax. Tax. So just imagine working. After working, 20% goes for tax. After working, 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 40% of your salary goes for tax. So tax is one of the major reasons why people are leaving the UK. And that is not just the only tax that is being removed from your salary. They have this national, national insurance, NI, that is also being removed from your salary. And when you get home from that same salary after the tax has been removed, you have to go home and pay your council tax. The council tax depends on your location. Depends on the kind of house you are staying. So the after they finish taking their normal general tax now, which is 20%, which is 40%, you come back home, you pay your council tax, you pay value added tax. For everything you buy, there's tax attached to it. So you pay your value added tax, you pay NI. So when you look at it, after paying all this tax, you can see that you have little or no money left if you are not wise enough. So one of the major reasons why people are leaving the UK is tax. Then the second reason is high cost of living. Yes, high cost of living. One of the things that take most of our salary, especially those residing in the UK now, one of the major things that take our salary is house rent. You know, back home in Nigeria, like we pay our house rent yearly and we don't really feel it. But here you pay your house rent every month as your salary is coming out just be planning to put direct debit to remove your house rate every month so the high cost of living is actually one of the reasons people are leaving the uk but come to think of it be it in nigeria everywhere these days there is a high cost of living like my parents what they used to get for five thousand they are complaining now it's not ten thousand there is inflation i think there is inflation everywhere the high cost of living is everywhere but one thing that actually kills people's um salary after the removal of the major tax is house rent house rent actually keeps a lot of money every month so the second reason after tax is high cost of living in the uk but to me personally i feel the high cost of living is not compared could, we should not compare it back home for me back to my home country because at least free feeding is cheaper feeding is very very cheap just the major things, which is the house rent that is killing our money. But these days, everything is increasing. So we just have to learn to adapt. So the first one, like Elia said, is tax. The second one is high cost of living. The third one is not getting your desired job. I'm going to explain this. 
especially those that come as dependents you are dependent on your spouse you came with your spouse to the uk you are dependent on them they are healthcare practitioner they are healthcare workers they are nurses so they came as nurses you you came come into this country as a dependent so you might not get that full job satisfaction you are looking for because we have managers we have ceos we have lecturers back in their various home countries but when they come back here they have to start from the scratch they have to start doing home care jobs they have to start doing um pizza attendant they have to start doing some other minor minor jobs around just to enable them meet up with their bills so if you are for example now you are a lawyer back home you know in your country you come down to uk you can't just start practicing as a lawyer over here it's not possible you have to do some trainings you have to pay for some courses for you you have to practice their own law and that requires money if you came with your family down to uk you'll be thinking about your children's expenses your house rent and everything you won't be able to think about the courses you have to pay for yourself you get so getting the desired job in the uk might be another reason why most people are leaving the uk because i've seen a bank manager who came to the country and is doing home care for a start you get so people that don't really get affected by this desired job are the it personnel we all know the it is a big industry the health industry like the nurses the doctors they find it easy to um work with their certificates here compared to other professional experts so not getting your desired job is also one of the reason people are leaving the uk then another reason is the weather there are some people that don't just like the cold weather there are some people that don't like the cold weather they don't want to see that they just feel it's not for them especially during the winter period that it's extremely cold that sometimes you see snow there are some people though they are citizens they don't want to stay around because of the weather the weather might be a factor why people are leaving the uk these are the reasons why people are leaving the uk then the other reason i want to share with you is the tiny houses the small houses see in uk they have a way of arranging their houses oh. they have a way of arranging their houses the rooms are very very small seriously especially when i came i was like ah ah so like the rooms are extremely small to me they are extremely small that's just the fact the rooms in the uk are very very small compared to our home country it is really very small so some people they like big spaces they want to live in a big house or big spaces that is what they want but when they come here they feel they can't they are not really comfortable with that space they are not really comfortable with that environment they need something bigger so they tend to go back home or they tend to leave the uk because they feel the house is not convenient for them and you know the funniest thing about these uk buildings if you see you see the houses are small toilets small kitchen small dining small but if you check their garden <laughs> if you check their garden the gardens are usually very big i'm like why waste this space why don't you use this space to create a bigger room now nah. but that's how they build their house here the fact is you can also get bigger houses or spacious room but it is quite like very very expensive very 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 expensive but majority of the houses those i have seen those i have packed in they are extremely small compared to the space of a room the space of a city room back home in the country then the last point i have to share with you is loneliness and depression loneliness and depression generally personally as an individual i advise people if you have a spouse it is better for you to come with them it is better for you to come together because to me if not for my husband this place is going to be a lonely place for me seriously because to your tent oh israel you can see i am outside i'm shooting the video outside everywhere is calm nobody cares about you so like how would i put it now everybody's minding their own business nobody's doing out a ball yeah everybody's married you don't have any family members so it's gonna be going to work coming back staying at home that's all your normal routine imagine so it's going to be lonely it can lead to depression if you are not careful for those that have family members around it's easier for them for those that don't have family members around it might be difficult to adapt easily but in general 
now I want to talk. But in general, despite the tax, despite the accommodation, despite the high cost of living, to crown it all, sincerely, I feel it's still better than back home. You get... I told you the reasons why they are living. So I have no reason why I'm living. Despite everything, I'm able to adapt. Everybody looks different. So I can't judge. Because back home, the road system, so a lot of things are wrong. I'm not trying to compare that, But I feel, in my own personal opinion, it is better back home. Because the tax that you are being paid, you are, that you are paying, you tend to get value for it. You get, you tend to get value for the tax. They have good road network, good transport system. The healthcare system to me is working well. You get whenever I am sick, I get attended to. Though some people face challenges getting attended, booking appointment, but for so far I can say the healthcare system is dope. Like they are far, far ahead of of us compared to where I'm coming from. You get so for me, it is far better than home because after everything, you still have some pounds ready to save. If you convert it into your home currency, it's even bigger than what most doctors and nurses earn over there. So, despite people shouting tax for me, despite people shouting house rent for me, despite people shouting that, I feel it is still better than home because your kids are going to have access to good education compared to what you have back home. So, what I encourage people is, if you can... When you are in the UK, at the very beginning, it might be challenging. It might be difficult. But just try as much as possible to see if you can adapt. But if you have better options, if you have good options outside what we have in the UK here, you can go for it. It's a personal choice. It's not, it's not a general opinion. It is a personal choice. It's a personal decision. It all depends, like Ella said, on what you want. For me... I am still here for the now. For me, I am adapting. For me, it's okay. So I don't know about all that. I don't know what they think. So when it's time, I might decide to leave. So for me, it's okay. And I feel it's better back than home. So these are the major reasons that I feel people are leaving the UK. So for the person that asked this question, I believe I've been able to answer you correctly. Thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching my video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nosmes Mary saying thank you. Bye and see you in our next video.